Mm -hmm. Well, <sighs> like my like my wheels. Samurai's down a leg, guys. I decided to uh, get a jump start on my New Year's resolution to not be a fat ass, and uh, went to CrossFit and snapped my Achilles in half. So, what can you do? Being healthy is very dangerous. Um, I'm just gonna take you through kind of what my life looks like now that I've got one leg, and uh, I'm sure you'll get some enjoyment out of watching me try and get down to my shop with a scooter and a set of stairs in the way. So, follow me. <clears throat> my left leg is gonna be jacked after this. Okay, so I start by uh, getting down the stairs a little bit. And I bring my scooter down with me. My uh, reversing backup skills are becoming better every day. Roll through my office here. Hey dad, what's up? All right. Now that, that's not even the hard part. This hill's the next part. Got this dinky little scrub brake on the back wheel here that uh, is not adequate for a 250 pound man on a little scooter. So that's how I have to get down my hill without dying. Oops. Gotta say, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this. Okay, then from there we gotta get this thing in the shop. And I have uh, swept little paths so that uh, I'm not tripping over chunks of wood because th these hard wheels, if you hit a cord, scrap of wood, they stop like that and send you to the ground. So I can get around my shop, but obviously using machinery um, when you're balancing, you know, most machines require two hands. Um, and I usually always have to have a hand on the brake here. Essentially, I can't operate any of the machines safely uh, cutting a piece like longer than, say, this. This is about the biggest piece that I can work on safely. I kind of brace myself against the saw. And I'm not advocating <laughs> working in a wood shop <laughs> when your leg is in a cast and you're on a scooter. That's that's just a bad idea, but the samurai prides himself in bad ideas, and uh, that's just the way that I roll. So I braced myself against the table saw here. I've always got my thigh, my knee, right against the off switch, so if I'm ever working on a piece of wood, I can always just kill the saw. But yeah, obviously I don't want to be leaning too far, trying to push big material through, through the saw, or the joiner for that matter. So I am working on small projects. So there's some fun videos coming up. The door project is almost done. I'm just finishing my side light here. Uh, then I can order all the glass panes for that. And then the door will be finished. The siding is going to be getting wrapped up this week on the house. So there'll be an awesome kind of montage video of like the whole house project coming a couple weeks from now. So don't you worry. The samurai's down, but he's not out. Well, I guess at the end of the video, I always say samurai out, but... You know what I'm trying to say, okay? So don't worry, the content's still coming, even though I'm a, what's the uh, politically correct term? Handicap, nah, it doesn't work anymore. Disabled? That's kind of a negative, isn't it? What do they say? Special needs? Yeah, I've always, I've always been special <laughs> needs. <laughs> I've always been special needs, now I'm just a little bit more special needs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep rolling and building stuff, so stay tuned guys. 
All right, well, that is enough of me belly aching about my bum leg. On a positive note, oh, I'm so excited to announce, we have just launched the Maker's Mob. It is now live. Registration is open. I'm super pumped that we have Jimmy Duresta and John Peters on board. They've both uploaded tutorials to their Maker's Mob, and they're going to be uploading more and more as the months go by. My online school has been open for several months now. I've got hundreds of hours of tutorials and videos, projects, multiple sets of plans for everything from sawhorses to a workbench to a hot tub. John Peters has uploaded a tutorial on how to build a mid-century modern style desk. You can go check out the video of that on his YouTube channel. And Jimmy DeResta has put up a series on how he built his canoe. Tons of you probably watched that. If you're anything like me, you're like, I need to build a canoe after watching that. So yeah, if you're the type of person that's really want to just keep taking action on all your maker dreams, but you want to have a little support, a little community, be able to ask questions to the, you know, your, your favorite makers, like myself, obviously. We've got our own exclusive Facebook page where I do live hangouts every single week for an hour, answer people's questions, everybody posts pictures, encourages each other, gives, shares information. It's an awesome community. So if you want to get in now at the lowest possible price, click the link down in the description box below, up in the corner. Look forward to seeing you on the inside. Don't be a slob. Join the mob. Samurai out. Mm.